Uh, hello guys, um, I'm just gonna make a, a little project here about um, the project I've been working on. It's um, the Vastistor uh, robot. Uh, I'm going to, I'm just showing you the base connection of the robot now. This is the inner uh, base. I'm using L298 board here. Um, also, I'm, this is the battery pack of the robot. I make a common, I made a little, um, a little board because we're going to make a lot of connections uh, to the ground with using the common ground. So I created this um, little board here. So I'm going to use it for my various ground connection. And this is the 8289 board. And there's the, um, uh, this is the cable that took wire uh, to the battery. I'm just showing the ground connection. Um, by the time I finished, I'm going to use um, Raspberry Pi Zero board, um, which I'm just showing here. Raspberry Pi Zero is a very uh, little amazing uh, computer. And also, I'm going to, after the project, um, I'm thinking of installing a camera where I can do some video recording in the future and also use it um, for obst obstacle avoidance and other other things. Um, I'm planning in to make an upgrade. I'm going to use this, um, this camera it has a night vision so that the robot can see well at night. Um, also, I'm going to use um, this power bank as my power supply for the Raspberry Pi. And um, I'm going to make some um, improvement also. Um, I'm going to have two bulbs, um, two um, LCD bulbs uh, to the front. I'll show you later in the video. I just want to show you the base of the of the uh, robot so that by the time i put it up i'll also show you how i uh, show you how the connections are made and also then we're gonna power it up all right okay guys just want to show you um this is the top side i have I attached two led bulbs here just to make it uh, look more beautiful and um here at the back here, there's 470 ohm resistor each, controlling each LED. And this is the camera I'm going to use. This camera um, has a night vision. That means it can detect in the night. I'm even thinking of removing the LED from here and placing it somewhere else because I don't want to, it to disturb the night vision. So I'm going to take the LED out here and put it somewhere at the back. And um, this is the Raspberry Pi Zero that I'm to the back of the camera. So this is the top side. And um, we, when I have uh, enough time, I'm going to connect the top side to the bottom side. And from there, we, we're going to try to uh, run the Raspberry Pi tank. Okay, hello guys. Um, just going to uh, quickly run some application on the robot tank. I've completed it already. So I'm just going to show you quick, briefly. Um, this is the robot tank. Um, that build. I'm gonna take this backward so I can show you. Um, this is the robot tank. Um, it has a camera here. This camera uh, has to you could see this two white um uh, two round um cylinder here. It's just for the night vision detection, and this is the camera. I'm not gonna show much about the camera here because I just want to test the robot first and I'm gonna make a full video on how the camera works. And this is the Raspberry Pi Zero that used to power the robot. Um, this is the USB dongle which I'm gonna connect with the um, with the mini keypad to control the robot. And also um, I have the two power supply for the robot here. This is six um, six and uh, one point five volt battery. Um, that should that should give us a total of nine volts to power the motor inside uh, the L two nine board powering the motor. And this is the um, uh, power bank, mini power bank powering the Raspberry Pi. Um, I just put an LCD like here to serve as a antenna also to to indicate when the Pi is on. So if I flip flip this this, this two control, this for the L two nine board. I put the switch because um, if I run need at the same time the wheel will start turning because uh the raspberry power will start turning the wheels so that's why i put two switches one to control the wheels and one for the raspberry pi so that i can load the program 
So if I on this now, the body sun there is a red light in inside, but you can't see it because it's enclosed. So I switch it off. But if I switch on this uh um um this um button now, now you can see I've switched on the Raspberry Pi. So I'm gonna collect the Raspberry Pi um the uh, robot to the to my monitor now and also bring the monitor closer. I notice a little bit uh towards the card space so cramp crampy. I'm just gonna leave a link in the description so you can see and copy um the file that I use. So now connect it to the monitor. So I'm trying to put the monitor on. Just to make it faster, I'm gonna okay. Oh, I think it's on now. Let's see if it comes with a, a signal. No signal, so I'm gonna put it off now. Then I'll flip on the ras Raspberry Pi, uh, the rub Raspberry Pi again. So it's gonna boot up now. Now you see it's booting up. So you just gotta wait for a while because this is um, Raspberry Pi Zero. It's the first uh, Raspberry Pi board. It's a very very slow uh, a Linux computer. Um, I before making this video, I just um, finished assembling um, the Raspberry Pi 4 um, a Raspberry Pi 4 board um, to connect my control my monitor again. But for this uh, um, project, I'm using Raspberry Pi 0. So I'm not going to say much about the camera now. I'm going to make a special video for that because I have, a, I'm thinking of using it for live recording, night detection, obstacle avoidance mode yeah so so much to do with the camera right now we just want to do with the basic function of the robot to see how the robot works so still waiting it's putting on the system right now it's take a little while to this is a slow computer it's not really too slow yeah now it's back so now you can see i connected the monitor that this is the home screen so what i'm going to do is i'm going to wait for it to finish booting up then I'll go to the terminal. Um, I store some code used to control the robot as key, key robot.py. So I'll go to the terminal here. Now the terminal will come up. So I'm going to en enlarge the terminal to make it full screen. Yeah. Now the terminal is in full screen. So let's um, type ls. I want to see the list. Now this is not the list. So uh, I stored it in the desktop. So I'm gonna put cd desktop cd desktop. So enter. It's in the desktop mo mode. So um, then I'm going to type a command called sudo python key underscore robots dot py. Um, that is the co um, code I used to store it. Enter. Now you can see. So it's connected now. So um, what we're going to do is now that I've connected it, uh, I can just take off the screen now. So we're going outside um, to see the robot uh, works. Okay. So I'm just going to stop the video. Then we're going to test the robot outside. Let's start the robot now. Okay. If I want the robot to go forward, this is going around. Stop. If I press the down key, stop. If I want it to go forward, back. Turn. Okay. Reverse. It's a very powerful robot indeed. Keep turning around. I'm still gonna make a, um install some other features to it called the dance mode where the robot can dance. 
It's a very powerful robot. Um, I'm going to bring my other robot as well. I have other robot, so I want, I want to see if I can um, connect both of them together. Uh, I mean to see which, which is uh, a more powerful robot. Um... Okay guys, I just bring my other robot. This is my first um, robot that I made. Um, it's um, based on Arduino, Arduino Uno board, uh, but it's not it's not a computer like this one. So it's a, also an intelligent robot. So um, I name it um, Megida. It's just an um, also um, Nigerian language, meaning uh, the leader of the house because it's my first robot. So I'm really excited now. So now you can see this robot is controlled by a Raspberry Pi, and this is controlled by Arduino. Um, I want um, the Raspberry Pi robot to be better than the Arduino, but and this has obstacle avoidance mode. So for the purpose of this video, so we're gonna test this robot as well. Now let's see how this goes. I'm using an IR remote control to control this robot. Now see this can go forward and backward. Then forward, backward, and it can also turn around. Yeah, the battery is weak actually. That's why I can't turn it around. Uh, it's taking a while I've charged it. So um, when I made the next video about uh, obstacle avoidance mode, why I'm showing this robot is uh, this robot has ultrasonic sensor with an obstacle avoidance mode. Um, why I'm showing this robot is in the next video, I'm gonna compare, I'm gonna use um, a camera using artificial intelligence, AI, where this one will be using uh, the front camera as obstacle avoidance. And this one is using an ultrasonic sensor as obstacle avoidance and we're gonna make a little competition where we compare both robot to see which one is more powerful so i'm just showing you this because it's gonna be next in my next video i've not charged the battery i will have test the obstacle avoidance mode with you but it's a very very cool robot this robot also has a line tracking device that means uh, mode if i place this on a white line on a black on a on a, on a white background with a black line this thing can trace the line itself what my plan is I want this robot to be more intelligent than this robot because this robot I just got the kit from Eligo and um, just assembled it but this one is uh, more more of a computer so let's go back to the main video and test this one this is my my robot again oh uh, see crazy it's crazy that's an accident so let's see something funny we want to test these two robots and see which one can climb uh, I'm gonna put this as an obstacle. This shape. So let's see if this robot's gonna climb this thing. It's crazy. Let's see what's gonna happen. Easy peasy. And it's gonna be vast and climb it. Because this is a tank. Tank is literally stronger. So let's see what this is gonna do. Is still gonna be able to climb it? Let's see. Um, the battery is weak actually, I said, but um, let's be able to do a couple of things. I didn't charge it. I'm gonna take this out of the way. Ouch. Let's see. Okay, go. Oh. Uh, now, I'm gonna see if this one will climb it. Just a little obstacle. Oh, uh, you see. That's just the, the, the difference between it. If you watch um, this one, it's not a tank. So what it does is it just push it away. Now, but this one is a more interesting machine. It's a tank. And let's see what the tank will do. It's gonna climb it. And backward. It's gonna climb it. Let me see if I can just try to be uh, to be funny here. Let's see if I can just increase the height of the and see if the tank is gonna climb it. Crazy robot. This really shows that this uh, Raspberry Pi is a tank. We're gonna do more comparison between this robot and this robot. Um, where I just, um, after I upgrade this one, because I really want this one to be better than this robot. 
I'm still gonna see if I'm still gonna uh, put a light tracking mode on this. But firstly, I want to see if I'm gonna compare the difference between um, um, the the obstacle avoider capability using a camera and that of ultrasonic sensor. So and also between the Raspberry Pi tank um, robot and also the um, Eligo. Uh, Eligo, Eligo, Eligo Arduino Uno robot. But right now, um, in terms of climbing capability, I think this robot is better. But uh, we're still gonna see because I still got some upgrade to do. Okay, guys, see you next time. Take care, bye. We're gonna switch it off.